Welcome to our presentation on meaningful human-computer interaction. My name is Quinn Nguyen from the Center for Technology Experience of the AIT Austrian Institute of Technology. My colleague Julia Himmelsbach, also from the AIT, is here with me today. According to existential philosopher and psychotherapist Viktor Frankl, humans are beings that struggle for the concrete meaning in their individual lives. At the same time, the concern for meaning in and of the existence is one of the main characteristics of humans. Users of technology as humans are therefore also meaning-seeking entities. With the evolving relationship between people and technology, it is thus necessary for human-computer interaction to reflect the fundamental aspect of meaningfulness. However, HCI hasn't come to a conclusion of what meaningfulness actually entails. With few exceptions, such as the work of Kaptelinin or Meckler and Hornbeck, there's not much research on meaning in the field. To address this, we explore HCI through the lens of Viktor Frankl's work in existential philosophy and psychotherapy. We take up three concepts that Frankl calls the existentials of being human, responsibility, freedom, and noos, and we explore how they interact with technology. Before we begin with this exploration, a short definition of each of these existentials. Freedom and responsibility are viewed by Frankl as two sides of the same coin. On the one hand, humans are free to take critical distance and choose their attitude towards any circumstances, be that outer, physical or psychological. You are not only free from something, but also free to do something, to seek meaning. On the other hand, responsibility focuses on the things we are free to do. In other words, we are responsible, based on our situation and context, to do something with the freedom that we are given. With the term noos, Frankl aimed to emphasize a spiritual dimension of humans while purposely foregoing religious connotations of the term spirit. According to Frankl, the noetic dimension acts as a human foundation and is inextricable from the body and the psyche. Noos can be found in a person's creativity, humor, and ability to look outward, to seek self-transcendence. Against this background, we explore what meaningful HCI is. We take up Frankl's concepts of responsibility, freedom, and noos and explore how they interact with technology. By investigating the existential surrounding HCI, we provide a theoretical lens to better understand meaningful interaction and design. We aim to provoke a discussion to create a foundation to incorporate meaning in HCI on four levels. First, to present the theoretical concepts provide an in-depth understanding of meaning. Second, the existentials enable critical design reflections and evaluations. Third, it contributes to HCI epistemology by understanding users as meaning-seeking subjects. And fourth, Frankl's theory draws our attention to the designer's role and responsibility. We present a theoretical examination conducted through the reflections of the authors. In addition, we also conducted two expert workshops, including experts in Frankl's theories, social science, and interdisciplinary technology research. The workshop results served as input to revise and extend our initial concept application. By that, we identified four dimensions of each existential, the existential as an outcome, embedded in technology, in interaction, and of non-usage. Freedom as an outcome of technology usage refers to opening up new possibilities life choices and experiences for the user. Furthermore, the technology and design becomes an artifact of the designer's ideas. In other words, the designer's notions of meaningful tasks and related freedom are reflected in the design. This includes, for example, the designer's ideas of how, when, where and for what purpose users should use a technology. In HCI, freedom in interaction typically relates to aspects of user control. Frankl's ideas go beyond that. The freedom of choices includes all interaction decisions, as well as shaping environments and virtual worlds, such as in open world concepts and games. Users also have the freedom to use technologies in unplanned or in unintended ways, or not at all. Non-usage is thus on a continuum. Notably, non-freedom of non-usage does not originate from the technology itself, but it emerges from the entanglement of technology with society and culture. Frankl points out that all individuals have the responsibility to seek for a meaningful life. Responsibility as an outcome strongly relates to the individual's realization of values. Because of that, responsibility is bound to human beings, not artifacts. 
Nevertheless, there is a responsibility embedded in technology, the responsibility of the designers. Hence, this responsibility is interwoven with the design process. For example, questions arise such as, do the designers consider social power structures, like in the case of marginalized user groups, and do they explicitly aim to reduce such social inequalities? Do they hold themselves accountable even if a system does not meet that goal? In line, responsibility in interaction is a second-order responsibility. It is a means to fulfill humanist values and ethical goals through the usage of technology. And also the responsibility of not using a system concerns these consequences. However, we want to point out that this responsibility is based on the freedom of non-usage and thus the relevance of the social, organizational and technological context enabling such decisions. With the help of technologies, NOAS can also be achieved as an outcome. Technologies can support our search for meaning, for example, by bringing people closer together despite physical distance, as we have experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic. And it can enable us to be creative or funny. As such, technology has become an inherent part of our societal life, of our strive for meaning and connectivity to other members of society. In the sense, technologies co-shape society. And the netic dimension therefore goes beyond the situative use of technologies. They shape our social life, work and our relationships. Next, the nose embedded in technology is a manifestation of the nose of the users envisioned by the designer, or more generally, her notions and images of the user. We can thus ask ourselves, does the technology reflect the user's strive for meaning and self-fulfillment? Does it allow for meaningful and creative practices? Or is the user reduced to a machine, merely providing input to the technology's output? Noetic interaction includes creative and playful interaction, but also possibilities of inscribing the self within the technology. For example, choosing a personal desktop image or other personalization options might enable the users to make the self in technologies explicit. The relationships a user enters with technologies could also be shaped by dimensions like trust. Lastly, noise of non-usage comes to bear when using technology has a direct or indirect influence on our notions of humanity. The invention of visualization technologies such as ultrasound permanently changed the notion of unborn life and the experience of pregnancy, for example. Similarly, the transhumanist idea describes such a shift as well. Underneath the goal of enhancing human intelligence and thus our noos might be the implication that transhumans are better humans. We now want to take the example of the existentials in interaction to show that the existentials are highly interwoven. Nose in interaction needs freedom as the users need choices and options to be creative in their interaction. Further, Nose needs responsibility by ensuring understandable, controllable and reliable interaction to enable a positive relationship with the technology. Therefore, it seems that freedom and responsibility in interaction enable Nose. However, sometimes freedom also has to be carefully balanced against responsibility and norms, as more choices also increase the complexity of the interaction and may lower the ease of use. Hence, norms and responsibility in interaction open up questions of how much freedom is needed to allow the user's responsibility and norms to come true. With our examinations, we aim to present a framework of what meaningful HCI is. By that, we want to enable design for meaningful lives. Especially the existentials as an outcome show high potential. Further, Franklin's understanding of humans can improve HCI's epistemology. Especially the existentials embedded in technology as well as NOS could guide future work. Lastly, the existentials put the spotlight on the values and notions of users that are inscribed into technology and help to unveil hidden power structures in technology design. In line with that, we hope to provoke a discussion on meaning in HCI. For example, we ask for further work based on non-Western philosophies. We also see promising opportunities for explicit references to more current theories, such as the actor-network theory of feminist posthumanism, which target the relationships between humans and technology. We propose to relate our initial reflections with genuine HCI theories, such as value-sensitive design. Further, we aim at translating our work into meaningful participatory design as well as evaluation methods. Thank you. We are looking forward to participating in such a discussion about meaningful HCI.